maybe it's more masculine, that bigger wheel. <laughs> I said the right thing there, lads. <laughs> oh, God. A bit more manly. <laughs> a bit. So, welcome to Shropshire, the home of Van Life Festival. We're here with Damo. For Astarly, we've always felt like our folding bike has sort of sitted amongst the camping community and served it quite well. But what's taken us by surprise is the uptake of it. And it'd be great to hear from you just to see what your thoughts are now that you're a proud owner of a E20 plate. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. It's so effortless. It's just, yeah. This is five. Having the van in the first instance is that freedom, being able to roam, uh, travel, uh, see different places, take you home with you wherever you go. And then to be able to have something like an e-bike, to be able to explore the places that you go to. I mean, certainly for myself, um, doing, uh, doing a, lot, a lot of off-grid camping, a lot of wild camping, I could be pitched for probably two weeks at a time in the most remote places. And to think that you got the option just to get out of the bike, you know, fold your bike out and off you go and you can go and get a few grocery bits. You yeah. can go and explore. It gives you even more freedom as a van lifer. That really gives you even more freedom. And there's something about being on a bike as well, isn't there? Like, you got, I mean, look now, this is, for me, this is what, this is it. This is what this is about now. It's beautiful, you're by the river. It's lovely day, freedom, you know? And one of the most important things is the ability to charge while you're on the road. You know, that's, that's, that's a real, real big, important element. And you, you bought the 12 volt chargers? Yeah, yeah, we bikes, bought, bought the 12 volt chargers. Um, and surprisingly enough, they actually, they actually charge the same time as, what, as, as, the, as the home chargers. Having that ability to be able to charge on the road, that's fabulous, you know. So originally, you were looking at the standard E20, the E20.7, which we've run for a long time, and it's been a really successful bike. And then I think you kind of had a look around and you discovered the play. What was it that made you want to go for the play? And now having ridden it, what do you enjoy about the play? I like the idea of having the flexibility of being on the rough ground. I would guess that I would spend more time on uneven services as a, as a, as a, as a van lifer, you know, where, the places that I go, off grid, in the wilds, you know. So it's nice to really have a bike um, that caters that. I tried it today on the grass and it's absolutely smashing on the grass. It was really, it was, it was effortless. I felt really comfortable on it. I felt confident on it. And I was very impressed with the, uh, with the tire setup, giving that cushioning. It was- uh, The balloon tire. Yeah, the balloon tire and yeah. It was almost like I was, I was riding something with suspension yeah. and it was comfortable. I mean, I've had bikes with suspension on them. There is a downside to suspension on bikes that you do lose. You do lose a bit of power through pedal. As you pedal, obviously, that goes through your, through your suspension. So I think it's a great compromise. It's, it, it gives you that nice rigid ride, but you've got that bit of cushioning for when you do want to go off the road. I think the words I used was BMXy and choppery. <laughs> You know, right. and, it, and it kind of takes you back, you know, it takes you back to, you know, like I said, 12 years old. Oh, it's nice to go up that hill with ease. <laughs> that was wicked. The only way I can describe it is you, you do feel like you're on a fixed bike that isn't a fold-up bike. Because I always envision a fold-up bike to be something that's flimsy, something that's, that's, that's like, it's, it's, it's skinny. Do you know what I mean? With that, once you put it all together, it, 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 you just got. It just feels like you're on a on a solid, rigid bike. How about the fit? How does it How does it work inside here? Yeah, Space yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's great for me. So, so for me, um, I'm uh, if if I if I did have a, a bike rack uh, on the back of the van, I would put it on a bike rack. The only downside to bike racks for me is that um, they can mark your vehicle. Um, also, the bike is outside the vehicle as well. You know, and if, you're, if for us, if we're off grid. Yeah. And you've got a bike on a rack, you know, you, is it going to be there in the morning when you wake up? Things like that. I mean, you can lock stuff. We know we can lock stuff and that. But the, the thing is, most of the time, it's a, it's a damaged course when people are trying to, to get to stuff. For me, everything goes inside my van, even, right. even when I'm away. I've got the pop-top roof there, so we can, we can put stuff at night. We can put valuable stuff inside the van. 
and then we can sleep in the roof uh, of the night time. And for transporting, I mean, where you can see, it's just, it takes up no room at all when that's back there towards the uh, me cupboards. It's, uh, it's perfect. I love the, 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 it's the chunkiness of it. You know, I, I don't, I'm not into skinny frames. I like some of that looks, it's got some. Yeah, that's it, yeah, that's it. It makes a statement, doesn't it? In a, in a, in a small fold-up bike, it makes a statement, yeah. Life with a van and practicalities with a van with you know, modern day living, with parking restrictions and one-way systems and city centres and CAS zones and the like, you know, what is the impact on that for campers and can an e-bike help? Yeah, most certainly. I mean, I mean a lot of places now, um, Birmingham being one I could, I could name, certainly for my van to go into Birmingham, um, I think the charge on that is, is £9 a day. I mean, for me, Irrelevant, I suppose, of all these restrictions that we have, these these restrictions with with, with what they're bringing in to stop these um, the older vehicles from going into these places. For me, it's always been about trying to park in these places, just in general, trying to park. The cost of parking, the worry whether you're going to get a ticket on your window, you're parked in the wrong place. To be out, outside of that that city and better jump on a bike, it's a win-win, isn't it? You get through the traffic. You're not stuck in traffic. You can get into the city. You're probably going to get into the city quicker on that than you are sitting in the van. The van can stay out in a lovely location like this. Being on holiday and being out in the van is not sitting in traffic. It's not sitting in, in cities and stuff like that, you know, and trying to, that's stressful. We, yeah, we, yeah. We, what we want to do is we want to make the experience as less stressful as we can and as enjoy, uh, enjoyable and as practical as we can. And this is where the e-bike, it, it, it comes into its own. You think of a fold-up bike as a small little bike that's just, it's just small, it's convenient, it's, it's just very flimsy small, that's next level. That's like a, it's almost like a fashion accessory, isn't it? <laughs> as well as, a, do you know what I mean? It looks the part, you, you, I mean, I'm a six foot two guy riding around the town on that today, nobody's looking at me thinking, what's he doing on that? It, it just, it fits, it just fits. It's a fantastic right. style, yeah. Thank you very much for having us. No worries, you're very welcome. Good seeing you. Yeah, good seeing you, thanks. Even with no assist on, it's, 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 it's easy to ride. I've got no assist on there.